Hello everyone, I am Musavvir. Today I will talk about Elecrispa nanofiber based smart drug delivery. This is a brief outline of what I am going to talk for the next 5 minutes. First, I will answer the obvious questions about smart drug delivery and Elecrispa nanofibers. Then, I will give some examples and finally, I will talk about few limitations and future possibilities. Smart drug delivery means stimuli-responsive drug delivery. The stimulus can be pH, temperature, light, even electric or magnetic field. Just like smart people, these smart nanofibers know what to do when. Smart drug delivery systems can be used for targeted drug delivery and definitely with minimum human interaction. So why exactly we want electrospan nanofibers? There are nanoparticles, there are hydrogels. Well, one of the biggest advantages of nanofibers is the high surface to volume ratio. Here you can see an SM image of Elecris pan polyvinyl alcohol nanofibers. We can use a wide range of polymer which can be synthetic or natural. A big advantage is we can incorporate different kind of drugs into these nanofibers. These drugs can be commercial drugs, natural elements or even nanoparticles. And we can manipulate the fiber morphologies in various ways. Here are a few examples of Elecrispa nanofibers. The diversity is easily noticeable, right? Okay, now let me show you some examples of interesting smart drug delivery studies. First, we will take a look at pH responsive drug delivery. Different parts of our body have different pH. Any alteration means abnormality. For example, the pH of extracellular tumor is more acidic than surrounding tissue. So, we can develop a nanofiber loaded with anti-cancer drug and this nanofiber will only release the drug when the pH is acidic enough. This will not only work as a targeted delivery but also it will protect the surrounding tissue and cells from any kind of damage. Now, the light responsive nanofibers. In the figure A, we can see the release of an anti-tumor drug from the nanofibers. You see the little red vertical lines? There's the time when the nanofibers were subjected to infrared light. The release suddenly increased when there was an infrared light. These light responsive nanofibers loaded with anti-tumor drug have been characterized and shown excellent efficiency against tumor cells. As you can see in the cell viability graph, nearly 75% of the cells were destroyed within 24 hours. Another amazing example is magnetic field responsive nanofibers. These nanofibers have shown excellent performance in in vitro tests. You can see both of IL-1 beta and MCP-1 proteins were reduced in the magnetic responsive fibers in the presence of a magnetic field. These proteins are responsible for inflammation during wound healing. Also, the western blotting results show reduction of inflammatory cytokines. So, these nanofibers not only release drugs smartly, but also help in healing. There are multiple stimuli responsive drug delivery systems as well. This multipolar responsive drug delivery can be combined of two stimulus. It can be pH and temperature, pH and electric field, temperature and light, any two combinations. Here in the first graph, we can see different release profile in different temperatures. In the second image, we can see the different release profile at the same temperature but this time in different pH environment. So these nanofibers respond to two different stimuli. Pretty smart, right? Finally, there are a few limitations of electrospan based nanofibers. Proteins are difficult to electrospan as proteins tend to denature during electrospinning process. Another important limitation is cytotoxicity mechanism of the nanofibers which is not well understood yet. Also, most of the studies are conducted in simulated environments. More animal model studies are needed for better understanding of the in vivo performance of drug loaded nanofibers. And different delivery routes should be examined. As the nanofibers are fabricated as mats or matrix, there are limitations in oral and ocular delivery routes. Exploring different routes can be more beneficial in various applications. Here are the references from where I have taken help to prepare this video. Thank you everyone for watching.